Hey guys, Electro Ninja here, and welcome back to Electro Ninja's Lab. In today's video, we are going to be talking about something that Jeremy Zag has recently um, released on his Instagram. Uh, a picture of Kagami. Specifically, this one. So, we now officially, it has been 100% confirmed that Kagami will be getting the Dragon Miraculous. Now, I do not want to say that at this state that the Dragon Miraculous will stay with her or anything like that. However, I do think that it will be the case, just based on the fact that Marinette and Adrian, when they're Ladybug and Cat Noir in the future, they are not... Um, they do not have their special powers with the dragon and the snake. So, yeah. Um, so, we... So, yeah. So, the way that I'm going to be talking about the powers for the dragon is I'm actually going to be looking at this picture. Um, now, one thing that I would like to say is that part of my theory at first was that this power set was going to be based at least a little bit on the powers that Kagami had for um, both of her uh, akumatizations. While she has been akumatized twice, once as Repose where she just got faster, and once as uh, the, the Oni-chan, Right? Yeah, Onichan. Um, when we uh, when she got akumatized in both of those states, she um, became obviously the dra uh, she became the Dragon Miraculous holder, uh, or she uh, she would ha uh, not Dragon Miraculous. She had a sword that was basically all that stayed the same. Um, she was able to teleport and she was able to go fast. That's it. Um, so I would say that it would be cool if one of these powers was to allow her to be able to teleport, but honestly, like, everyone goes fast, so it's not that weird. So that one's just not a big deal. But the whole, oh yeah, she's going to be able to teleport, that seems unlikely. So we're going to start off by saying, um, this is confusing, because in this picture it shows each power as only one of them being activated except for the red one. Um, while in this one, we don't actually see any point where, um, either the blue or the yellow are active, while none of the others are active, except for on these two, so uh, except for on these two swords. So, I'm going to actually assume that the way that it works is that the abilities power up over time. So, um, since this symbol the uh, the first symbol looks like it is somewhat related to wind i'm going to say that this ability could likely be wind uh, the ability to fly or super speed um and kagami and marinette will have this power in the uh, when their ability is in one of these two states um i'll uh, mostly because of the fact that the way that I'm seeing it is that each of these only has one, so but this one has all three. So I'm thinking that this one will go to the red one. However, each of the others will be the one where it's glowing and the previous one where there was nothing in its space. So, um, yeah, the nor uh, so the normal sword which might allow her to fly or to go very fast because it's it looks like a wind symbol will be in the natural state or when the wind is glowing. The next power is the blue sword, which looks like a water droplet. So what I think this sword will be is that um, it will allow the user to swim through the water at extreme speeds. Um, they'll still be able to fly, but this ability would mostly be used for water-based things, uh, water-based combat. Again, this would be able to be used in either this 
specific symbol or this symbol. Now for the electric one. I want to say that this one will probably be a lot of shooting out electrical blasts and stuff like that. We will again see this ability in these two, uh, in these two symbols. Now obviously when she has like I've said in any symbol but once she has a symbol she'll be able to use all of the powers from the previous set. So she'll be able to fly always. She'll be able to use water abilities from this point onward. And she'll be able to use electric abilities from this point onward. However, she will get her ultimate sword, the full red sword, with all four with all three abilities at this point, at which point she will be able to use her ultimate ability or some flame attack. Um, getting the exact details of this does seem a bit challenging, but I do think that that is going to be the case. So. At this ability, she has a flame attack, which she can use once in as a child, uh, and as much as she wants when she's an adult, and she'll have to yell out her special attack when she's using this one. However, all of the others, she can simply activate them when she's ready. However, they do have to build up. So, um, if, just for example, um, when uh, so while she is in the, so how it's gonna work basically is automatically she will be in win state, but then she can say I want to start. Uh, she can think that she wants to start powering up. So she'll power up to this state where she'll become even. Uh, she'll be able to fly faster. She'll be faster in attacks and stuff like that. Um. Once it's at this state, she'll be able to swim and do stuff like that. She might be able to activate this one. Uh, this one takes about... Both of these ones will take very little time. But then, this one, as well as this one, will take a long time to activate. So, it will take um, a decent... Uh, so, it's a long type of ability. But, yeah. Um... But I do have to say that Kagami does look really cool, so, yeah, there is that. So, but anyways, guys, um, tell me what you guys think about this whole theory down in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe. Also, I will be, um, collabing with Quixote in, uh, uh, with, uh, before the end of this week which you can check out the uh, link to his channel up there, or you can check out the video also up there, or down uh, uh, that I collabed with him. The link to his channel will also be down in the description, along with all of my links, so don't forget to check out my book, check out my merch, check out my songs, and all that other jazz. But anyways, guys, I have been Electro Ninja, and I will see you guys next time. Badon!